Total War for here of part 18 of our legendary difficulty Seleucid Empire campaign with this is Total War achievement. We have quite a few enemy armies and fleets uh, attacking us. Let's take care of this guy first. This is the remaining stack from Axum whose uh, last settlement we took uh, last turn. So let's wipe them out. We have our artillery fleet here and these are transport ships so we, sh we should have no issues taking care of them. Now we can auto resolve this but we lose about 30% of the force and the ships take forever to replenish. Plus they are likely to get away with some of their ships so we're going to play this manually and assure they're all sunk all right so first line are just swords there's an archer in the middle on this flank they have sword they just have melee troops and here they have some archers okay we want to put our archers where their melee troops are so we can shoot them with no retaliation we want to put our artillery ships right here and basically shoot at whatever gets uh, close to us and keep the admiral at the back right let's do this guys you all fire at will at whatever gets uh, in range and you will get rid of this general they're almost in range for ballista ships we should start shooting soon Speed this up. Why are you not shooting? You should be shooting. Fire tool is on. What's happening? Oh yeah, you are shooting. Okay, that's fine. And let's start hammering his admiral. Hundred and two. Only two men per round? That's miserable. Come on, you can do better than this. Okay, we sunk one. Good. So we only killed like ten. It's not so good. Levy spears, whatever. Yeah, let's uh, get out of here. We can still keep shooting him while getting away from these guys. Okay, we sunk two. That's still not so good. Why are these guys not shooting? I'm sure they are shooting because they sunk two ships on that side. Okay, let's get out of here. He's down to 70. Good. This is not looking so good. Why are they so close? Guys, get out of here. Regroup here. Ah, this is Archer. Okay. Admiral, ram into this Archer and sink him. You guys get away. General, get rid of them. Right, you reposition. Yeah, this is going to take a while to sink them all. Okay, start turning back. Like half of their fleet is chasing our archers, which is perfect. Um, yeah, I know. He can handle this. Guys, you turn back. Okay, this one's sunk, but we need to get out of here. Hit him. This one is sunk, excellent. Turn around and get out of here. Taking some casualties here, which is not ideal. Shoot him. Yeah, assault ship, ready to attack, but you need to get out of here first. It's really not very accurate. This Artillery ships, right? Hit him now. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, start sinking these guys. Ready for orders. You guys come here. What are you doing? General. Sink him now. Yes, this admiral sunk like five of them already. So good at hammering them. Give way. 
turn here. You shooting him? He's still alive, come on, you can do better. You guys come here. Get rid of him now. Okay, you guys, just ram into this one. He doesn't seem to be going down. Another one down, hit them now. Hit him. You keep shooting him. You start shooting him. Admiral, hit him. What are you doing? One of our ships is being boarded. Ah, we did boarding instead of um, ramming. That's fine. He's down. Okay, this one's down too. They're all wavering. Excellent. You just need to get out of, of the range because they are melee. Right, you keep shooting these guys. Oh, they caught us. Okay, that's fine. Just turn back and run into them. Right, you switch to him. He's going towards you. Admiral, you run into him. You guys need to go around and sink this one. Shake him. Okay. Speed up? Oh, you can't. Okay, that's fine. It's almost over anyway. The is in our favor. Ships ready for Wham. Yeah, that's over. Everyone sunk. Not too bad. So we lost about 50 archers here and about 65 of our rail paltas, or 75. Not too bad. Heroic victory, nice. Yep, yeah, total destruction, excellent. And 2200 gold. Axum no more. Okay, let's get him navigator. And the fleet gets... Uh, this is good, right? We have artillery ships here, so more shots means uh, more killing power. Now. This fleet is running away. It's uh, six ships. We can sink it if we catch them, but they are far away. Now, I think we should recruit more of these. We did struggle a little bit sinking all that fleet, so maybe getting a couple more would be beneficial. Yeah, let's uh, move here and hire maybe two of them. We need good, strong men. Yeah, okay. Now, spy. Have a look at this town. Ooh, it's empty. Nice. Steal their food. Now, Ethiopia is basically safe, Axum has been wiped out, we just need to wait here a little bit longer for public order to stabilize, but we don't need these two armies, we just need one here. So this one, which is our best army, I think it's better, right? How about this? No, actually this one is better. So why don't we send this one to take this settlement? Now, he might be tempted to attack with his fleet, but 20 or 20 transport ships are not that easy to sink, even for... A fleet. We should win auto resolve easily here. Yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. We will land here and just take it. Or we could land here and move by land, which is probably even better. Yeah, I like it more. It's also farther away from his fleet if we need to run away. We'll probably also get there faster because it's much faster. Than land. It takes us three turns to land here and then fourth turn to attack. Yeah, let's go. Let's go this way. And the public order here is still healthy at plus uh, 13. Now, once it's in a positive territory, we can move this guy over here as well and support him. Okay, what else is happening? Who else is attacking us? There's this situation here with half a stack from Cyrenaica and full stack from these guys. So we need to move him here. Now, this is way too strong for them to even think of attacking. So let's uh, withdraw our fleet back to Alexandria. If we appear too strong, they won't attack and we do want them to attack. So let's uh, stick with this. Okay, now there's a small army approaching Adumato. So why don't we set a trap for them? Maybe here? It's only 15%. Even if it doesn't work though, they should stop their movement here and we can wipe them out. Okay, and then we have this situation. There's nothing we can do. This guy did not attack last turn. We are probably still looking too strong in terms of balance of power. So we will send a couple of these spell tests away. Okay, so now 
we have a garrison of nine plus mob plus three ships so that's 12 units maybe even less because ships are not at full manpower compared to land units so this is now weak enough in theory for him to attack which is the plan okay you go back to Tyros there's a fleet over here but it's been here for the last 30 turns and it's not doing anything now this guy has two full stacks which is a bit of a worry because he can take Tarsus. Ah, uh, we could set a trap and even get uh, help from the garrison. Seems like a good idea. But we need to make sure there's nothing here or here that can take Antioch when, uh, while we are not watching. So have a look here. Empty, okay. And have a look here. Empty too. Okay, excellent. And you can get uh, this. Okay, so now you. Why are you at 17 units? It's not so good. What do these guys have? This is a crap stack and this is slightly better stack. We should still beat each individual one of them fairly easily. We have four pikemen and all sorts of good stuff. So let's uh, set an ambush here or here, 55%. We need 55. Here is good, okay, do it. Okay, that's all in terms of threats. How about our other armies? We no longer need these to here. This is like now deep within our territory. We can move one of them to take this, while he'll take this. And then we can move both of them east to take this and this. So, you are at 19 units, you just need one more turn of replenishment. Public order here is fine, so don't worry about this, just press on. And you can even hire, what do we want? We are a bit light on pikes, maybe get one pike. Also we are light on cavalry, uh, cavalry is more important, get me a citizen cav. And you... What's the public order here? Six. And if you leave, it goes down to plus one. Yeah. Okay, stay here for another turn. Okay, you leveled up. Nice. Get... Uh, yeah, just get this research rate. Yeah, we overdid it with recruitment. We need to cancel this to even cover the deficit. And also you, cancel the spikeman. Uh, and cuff. Yeah, we can embezzle from next turn, which should be a little bit better for our treasury. But for now... Let's... Oh, Ethiopia. Why don't we start taxing it? How much we are making? Ah, 1600. That's so good. Yeah, let's do this. And what about Arabia? How much are we making here if we start taxing it? 400. The public order is okay. Minus 7 is not too bad. Yeah, let's do this. We need money. So we can now rehire that pike. No, sits in cav. Whatever. And uh, this second artillery ship. Okay, so let's uh, move on. Alright, so our plan here worked. We appeared, uh, we made ourselves look weak, so he attacks and he did attack. He's got uh, three pikes, three cavalries, a bunch of crappy infantry and a couple of shooters. Yeah, that should be easy enough. Let's do this. Okay, here they are. This layout, right? They can come through here and they'll be flanking through here. So, how many pikes we've got? Just one. Okay. We can't cover the whole width, but we can cover some of it. And here, we can just put this guy in square. There's one Persian calf. Royal Pontic Cavalry and Horse Skirmishers, right. Okay, so we definitely need to land with these guys as soon as possible. Starting with... Uh, hmm, we could even land here with some of them. Yeah, because there's there are limited slots here. It will take longer if we try to land them all here. Okay, so we want Royal Peltasts as soon as possible. So these guys will land here, along with maybe, like, all three of them. Come here. Okay, now archers. You guys can land here. And you'll start shooting the guys coming this way. And you guys will just land here after the rail peltas land. Hmm, in fact, this Persian calf can just wreck our archers. It's probably better to land a couple of Peltasts there, or even all three of these. 
because they are way better versus cavalry. And then we just land archers here. Okay, now slingers. We need them here. You go into phalanx, and mob will be a sacrificial javelin absorber for this uh, horse skirmisher. Okay. Let's do this. You land. You land. Why can you not land here? All the way there? Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Now, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Just come back. It's too far away. That will take you forever to even get back to... ...to fight. You move closer. Okay, so his horse skirmisher is moving here. Excellent. You guys start shooting him. And this median calf, Persian calf is moving here. Okay. They are shooting mob, which is exactly what we want. And we will be shooting them. No, they are now shooting our pike. They are losing men fast. We already killed 20 of them. Royal Peltas, start moving here, fast. Okay, you guys withdraw. The horse skirmishers are half dead. Uh, this will take forever to get these guys here. Right, archers, you now disembark. Royal Peltas, guys, come here fast. Okay, this is done. Now shoot him. Is he going to charge into this uh, formation? Yes, he's dead. You will need to help him out, so you move here. The other two guys move here where the main battle will take place. How is he doing? Down to 40. This is his general as well. The enemy general is, the enemy general is dead, that's what I like to hear. Okay, you guys start shooting this javelin man. He can cause some real casualties to our guys. Right, you are supposed to land, hurry up. You speed up. Okay, how are we doing against this cavalry? It's down to 60, we are down to 130, losing decisively, not so good. Not so good, start shooting him. Our pike is down to 130, that's also not great. You guys, start shooting him. Ah, he'll be down by the time you get there. Right, mob, you try to sneak around and you'll chase away his uh, shooters. Just run here. You can make a fake attack here. Right, you start shooting this cavalry. Guys, move fast here. You land. Okay, you withdraw. How are we doing here? The Persian cav is almost gone, that's most important. Guys, you hurry up. You just keep shooting this cavalry. What's this? Eastern Spear, Hellman. That's fine. Right, you don't fight them, just run away. Guys, I need you here to start shooting the Slevy Pike. And the Real Peltas, you shoot the Spike as well. Real Peltas, you help them out. Ah, this guy will not last long against Pikeman. You need to go around and charge them from behind. Right. Don't fight these guys, just move around. Oh, our Pikeman is breaking. Not so good. Not so good. Right, you attack this Javelin man if you can. Royal Peltas. Almost out of ammo. Right, we lost here. You come back and attack them. Archers, you start shooting the spike man. Royal Peltas, almost out of ammo. Okay, you charge here. And you charge here. Guys, you withdraw. You shoot this guy that's approaching you. Yeah, general under attack is not so good. Mob is out, okay. Okay, you pull back. You start shooting him. 
Where's our second guy? Pull back. No, you go around them. Don't fight them. This is a uh, pikeman. You withdraw. You shoot him. You guys going to shoot wall. Okay, you gave your round. Pull back. You attack these guys. You withdraw. Ah, oh, they are encircling us. Damn. Try to sneak out. You attack this. You shoot them. You guys just go here. In fact, you attack him. Do you guys try to sneak between them? That's probably not gonna work. Right, you change to this pikeman. No, you need to finish this uh, hill one first. Right, slingers, you start shooting this. How are we doing here? Combat even? Come on. You're Royal Paltas, you're the best supposedly you need. Okay, this guy should be done now. There's 11 of them. Okay, change to this slinger. You shoot him too. This guy has enough. Right, you charge at them. There are pikes approaching here. No, this is Hoplite. Hoplite the Levy Pike. Shoot the Levy Pike. These guys have enough. Okay, attack the Hoplite. These slingers are taking heavy casualties from us. Oh, we totally forgot about these guys. You start moving. Huh. We're going to win it even without them. Nice. Okay, you won here. Help him out. You keep shooting these slingers. Royal Peltasts, attack this. How is this Python doing? Down to 114. Okay, not too bad. Right, you need to withdraw here. Oh, we caught this guy. Excellent. Finish him off. Another Levy Pike approaching. Peltas, you guys come here. Oh, these hoplites are melting away. Right, you also need to run away from this guy. Attack here. Okay, looks like we won. We won this without even using these guys because we forgot about them. A rookie mistake, but a victory nonetheless. Nice. Okay, so we won this very comfortably, but we didn't have any cavalry to run them down, so they got away with half of their um, units. Not ideal, but uh, still victory. Oh, and we did catch the Montus guy. For some reason we are not getting reinforcements from the Tarsus, but it's still looking good. Balance of power is vastly in our favor. Despite them having a thousand men more. Ooh, Pontic Peltas. These guys are really good. Right, so he's got four, let's say five good units, and the rest is crap. Should we play this? We have to, because else we lose half of this army. Well, then let's play. Yeah, fog battle, come on. Okay. Mm. Horse skirmishers, peltasts. Sorry, so the annoying units are at the back, and then his general up front, bronze shield pike, a hoplite, a couple of Persian calves, and the junk is in the middle. So the question is, do we go for these guys or for these guys? With ballistas, it's better to be hitting the heavy armored guys, um, hoplite and uh, pike. And pike is his most dangerous unit. So if we put our ballistas here and order them to shoot his general, uh, we are losing massive range advantage though. How about we, we shoot from here? We won't be able to see him because of the roundness of the hill. Yeah, we need to be somewhere here. Then they'll get within minimal range fairly quickly. Right, let's put the ballistas here for now. 
and see how much we can spread out our phalanx. Now that's not too bad. Ah, there's so many of them. No, this will this will not work. It's we only have six units of infantry. It will be too easy for them to flank us. So we're going to put ballistas here and start hammering these peltasts. Yeah. Then our phalanx will go here. One hoplite here to protect this flank and one here to protect this flank. Our cavalry along with the general will be here. He doesn't have any shooters here. It's just a couple of calves and the junky infantry. All his shooters are here. So we'll hammer them with uh, ballistas. And our shooters will be right behind the phalanx. Well, the, this guy should be f a bit further behind, so say here. And archers here. And our light peltasts. Yeah. Just here. Okay. This should work. Let's do this. Ballistas, start shooting these peltasts. Just one killed? It's not so good. Okay, you shoot him. You shoot this. And you guys, start shooting this peltast. Uh, he's trying to flank us as we expected. Uh, no, we need you guys to shoot this guy. You withdraw. General under attack by whom? What's this? Cappadocian cavalry. Right, elephant, just charge at them. You guys, get rid of these guys. Attack him. He's down to 70. They all run into phalanx. Ideal. This guy is not going to last for long. How are we doing here? Elephant, how are we doing? Winning decisively. That's what I like to see. Right, he's running away. Switch to him. How are we doing here? This guy down to 60. Okay, you come back. You shoot him. You pin these guys down. They'll try to flank us through here. Okay. It's 40 of them. Finish them off. This guy has enough. Tarantine. You start shooting these guys. Okay. You finish this guy off. You pin these guys. Uh, they're about to mess up of our ballistas. Yeah, this guy's trying to flank us. You withdraw. And you start shooting them with skirmish mode. Elephant, you won. Come back. How are we doing here? This guy's down to 27. Should not last much longer. You won here. Excellent. Come back. Start flanking them. You attack these guys. You guys finish him off. And you shoot these peltasts. Looks like we've got this under control. Tarantine Cav. Right. Elephant, you charge into this. You guys start shooting this blob of units. You start flanking them. You come back here. Pelt us down to 50. Okay, looking good. How are we doing against these hoplites? Not too badly. Right, you start shooting this bronze shield pike. Same you. Guys, you withdraw a little bit. We won't here. Still fighting, but they are shaking. Nice. Okay, you attack this, you attack this, you keep shooting them, you come here, 
this hoplite still alive? Well, not for long. Tarantine calf, shoot this. All of you guys shoot this pikeman. Ah, uh, this is turning into our favor, excellent. Keep shooting here, you guys charge at them from behind. We got them a circle, nice. His pike is down to 100 men. Good. Yeah, they're all wavering. Right, you guys, one, come back. Yeah, okay, Ballista, stop shooting. They are all melting away. There's no need to cause any friendly fire at this point. Tarantine, switch to melee and chase these guys away. Okay, that was fast. Alright, so that was pretty close to a total wipeout. They only got away with two units, and we only lost 20% of our force while making 1400. And we caught this guy, excellent. This is going to be brutal for him. Auto resolve with 92 remaining, looking good. Wiped out. Alright, what's the threats? There's this Armenian army here, a full stack, but it's a crap stack. It might be a crap stack, but in Antioch we also have crap. Six units plus mob, no way we can defend. We might need to pull him back and then we um, expose Tarsus. Also this guy is still around, although half dead. What else is there? Uh, three stacks here. Ooh, a full stack from these guys and two full stacks from Parthia. Three full stacks on the way. Hmm, okay. Then we have him approaching Ammonium. I'm sure we can defend here with what we've got. Three pikes, even depleted, plus a bunch of crap should be enough for him. Then we have this fleet that's still around. Can we catch them? No, almost but not quite. And that's it. Okay, let's start with North. 19 units. Huh? Fortunately, he doesn't have any anything else here, so it should be fairly safe for us to go back to Antioch and reinforce it. This guy will come through here, so there is no good way to catch him in ambush. Besides, can you even win an ambush battle against him? Right, get Gramcan following and logistics. Oh, we took Zeechcraft. Misclick. Oh well. That's unfortunate. Right, he will be coming through here. We can try an ambush with 25% chance, probably not gonna work, but if it does, can we even beat him? Um, yes we can, he's got 6 shooters, 3 calves and a bunch of crap. Okay, let's do it. So come here and set an ambush. Okay, you have a look here. In fact, we should maybe scout a little farther behind him, in case there is... Oh, there is a second army coming. Okay, now... We messed up, we should have scouted first. If we saw the second army, we would have not did the ambush, because he can now... Like, he has 75% chance of triggering this without an ambush, then he can bring him to reinforce, and it will be two full stacks versus 17 units plus a little bit of garrison. And if we withdraw, we might end up somewhere here or here, out with reinforcements rage, and they can take Antioch. Yeah, we messed up. Okay, we need to bring this fleet here. Uh, come here. In fact, yeah, come here. Now, in here, this is like nothing, but they can hire probably quite a few mercenaries. We don't even know how many, because we didn't check while we were here. Another mistake. So we need to keep something here to reinforce the garrison. What's the garrison, by the way? Well, we have five ships here. That's, that's enough. Okay, so we can give the units to him and disband this admiral. Give him this first, uh, whatever, this doesn't matter, and get rid of him. And you come here to support Antioch. Ah, not so good, not so good. We still can't hire another general, right? Yeah, we are maxed out and there's very long way to Imperium 5. Okay, let's sabotage this guy, slow him down. 65%, looking good. Okay, that's worked, nice. But there's still decent odds of this ambush not working and uh, we might have him to fight a messy battle here, especially if this guy comes to reinforce, but we'll see. Okay, next, this situation here. This guy will be double timing here. Perhaps there's an argument to set an ambush him. 
somewhere here. Where will he end up? Around where this battle took place. So we can move... This is road. Should be no desert attrition. Okay, if we end up here and set an ambush, we should catch him. Let's do that. And go into ambush. Now, if he moves as far as he can, we catch him and destroy him. Which is important ahead of a battle with these two guys. Because three versus one is, is a bit too much. Now, this guy. Do we need to worry about him? Not at all. This garrison is strong enough. The worry is that he'll go around and take Memphis on. In which case, we need to, we'll need to double time him back and move the fleet to support this settlement. Okay, so that's, uh, let's say that's under control. Where else can he go? He can try to go around and towards uh, this settlement if he decides this is too strong, but only if he doesn't see this army. So why don't we move here, or maybe here? No, it's the same 15%. Just move here and set an ambush for him. Yeah, so he now has a tough target where we are comfortable to win, or a juicy target with a weaker garrison with our ambush on the way. Or he might try to go around towards Memphis, which will be uh, troublesome, but we should still make it back on time. Okay, now this fleet over here. We're going to chase it, but if he doubles double times, if he double times, he double times, just move here. The last thing we want is for them to go, to go around us. And you will land. Okay, looking good. And how about you? Should we pull you back to support him? No, I'm sure he can deal with all this nonsense. You are just going to take this Marib settlement. You still need a little bit of replenishment, so just move along the road. Yeah, that's looking good. And now you. Do we need you here? We kind of do for a little bit longer until public order stabilizes. Right, let's build this, uh, this stuff for more public order. Right, you can scout a little bit here. Okay, and how about this army? The public order here is stable. Now, there's a small chance this guy moves around Ammonium towards Memphis and we won't have enough movement to get all the way back there. So there is an argument to move him towards Memphis, basically here. Yeah, let's do that. The public order here is stable anyway. Okay, you stay where you are. We need to stabilize this province a little bit more before we can move you. Champion, you get... Uh, what do you want to get? Probably just this, right? There's nothing else. Okay, Antigonus can embezzle funds multiple times, so let's start doing this. Also, he's 66, so there's good argument to do it twice, um, twice a turn because he might die at any time and then we lose all his gravitas. So let's do it twice this turn. And now do we want to build anything? Could do this for public order, but it's costly. Okay, how about this? This is quite nice. All provinces public order, I like that. Academia, let's build that. And some more public order here. Still at war. Yeah, let's move on. Okay, so he did attack Ammonium. Huh. That's two and a half times as many of them. But all they have is levy spears and some slingers. We can destroy slingers with these two sits and calves, and these levy spears will never get through our phalanx. Let's fight this. Right, we know this layout. We can either defend here, here, here and here, or deeper. Yeah, let's defend deeper, because we don't have many units. In fact, if we defend here and here, we have better odds of destroying his uh, slingers, because if we defend here, they'll all create a massive blob here. Okay, so let's do that. You come here, our best pike, in phalanx. You two guys defend here, in phalanx. Our spears are yours, defend here. Mm, three of spears. You guys come here. I will probably use you to flank because they are unlikely to go here. Next, uh, slingers. You come here. Archers. You come here. You guys. One of you come here. The other one come here. The pin cushions come here and sits in cav. Where do we want you? Probably here. 
they are less likely to come over here. Okay, everyone in place, let's do this. So I expect most of them to channel through this uh, avenue where our best pike is. But they might also go here and here and some of them will definitely come through here. Okay, so looks like the general is going this way. Away from all his other units. There's no way you can hold him off with uh, Spearman. But if you get these guys here, it should be enough. We'll just flank him. Shoot him to death in the back. Right, no one's going this way. So you guys start moving. Why would you do this to your general? Just send him alone. That doesn't make any sense. But then again, it's AI. Okay. Tribal slingers. You guys move a little bit farther. General is under attack. That's fine. He can handle this. Right, they're not shooting them up, so let's withdraw them. There's no point wasting them. Yeah. Yeah, we need all his infantry to engage in melee with us before we uh, move our cavalry and destroy their slingers. Yeah. You move to square for better defense. You guys hurry up. Everyone shooting? Yep, looking good. How's our pikeman doing? Combat even. Yeah, I'm sure it's better than even. Okay, slingers alone. Let's crush them now with cavalry. You guys. Hurry up. Right, mob. You can also start moving, making your way here. We can use you to chase them down once they start um, breaking. You take him. Do you take him? You guys come here. How is he doing? Losing decisively. Not gonna hold for long. Archers, I need you to start shooting his general. Because if he breaks and they charge at our uh, pikemen from behind, we are done. Okay, one of you needs to follow up and chase these guys. Uh, still 160 of them. Our guys are down to 60. Shaken. This is not looking good. Tribal Slinger. Okay. These two almost have enough. How are we doing here? Looking good. There's one Slinger here as well. Right, you make your way here. We're shooting him. Start shooting him. Our guy is down to 50. Right. You church here. We need to wipe them out so they don't come back. Men are wavering, I can see that, which is not good at all. But he's down to 130. Okay, how are we doing here, slingers? Ah, 20 kills between the two of you? That's a joke. Okay, I need you to pin them. Hillman, you attack them. In fact, Hillman can pin them, that's fine. Okay, how are we doing here? Almost wiped out. Hillman, what are you doing? You were supposed to pin these guys. General's dead, excellent. You guys withdraw. You guys withdraw. Just withdraw! What the hell? How are we doing here? Destroy these slingers, you come back, destroy them. Right, his general broke, excellent. You start shooting this. You attack here, you start shooting this. Okay, you... Come here, you come here. 
Oh, this should be brutal for them. Hillman, how are you doing? You lost your ammunition? That's fine. Just stay behind the phalanx. Okay, you won. Okay, run them down. These guys start breaking. Good. Three of spears. General, how are you doing? 200 men killed. Right. Oh, let's throw these human here. There's only 50 of them left. Of our pikes. Okay, you guys won. Come back and you will charge at these guys. These guys over here have enough. Excellent. You help them out. And you attack from behind. That should be the end of them. General, how are we doing? Down to 52, 220 kills. Nice. Sits and calf. 47 of you, 200 kills. Show me what you can do. One of our units has used all its ammunition. One lost, 20 killed. All his army is routing. Excellent. You come here. Guys, you out of ammo, just attack. You shoot him, his last one who's not uh, wavering. Right, slingers, you guys move here. Mob, you kill these guys, you kill these guys. Okay, that's the end. Gonna wipe them out. Yeah, not too bad. Total wipeout. 800 gold, I'll take it. Alright, and we have this Armenian army here. Wait, what else is happening? Not much, okay. So we just need to deal with these guys up north. But we'll do this next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.